Five Club MX5 Championship results. And first of all, I'd like to welcome to the podium Ben Short in first place. Well done, Ben. Yeah, Take good. a step up the top there. And in second place, we want to introduce Tom Holland. Tom, take a step on the podium, thank you very much. And in third, Ian Tomlinson. Well done. So, yeah, first and, <laughs> first and foremost, we'll have a quick, uh, quick conversation with you, Ben. Um, exciting race with Tom. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, it was uh, yeah, literally a race of two halves with a safety car in the middle. Um, and yeah, Tom, Tom had the run on me both, both, uh, both the final lap and the lap before down the back straight. And um, it was then a bit of a duelling into, uh, on the brakes into the um, last chicane. Um, and I thought he had me uh, on the last lap. I think he just uh, just got a bit bit keen on the brakes, and um, I uh, I got a slightly straighter line through the chicane and managed to get him on the exit. <laughs> it was really a close finish. Obviously, you, you took a lot of curve on that on that last corner. Was that more evasive action, or was you did you have the overtake in mind? The uh, correct wording would be um, yeah, evasive action. Um, <laughs> that's the safest way to vote. Now, I mean, uh, now I know I know Tom. We've even shared a car in the past. Uh, uh, I knew that he would gather it up, um, but I knew he'd also lose a bit of pace on the exit. So I just had to make sure that I had the run basically. And yeah, brilliant. Uh, BS Motorsport one two across the line. Couldn't, well, couldn't be better. Awesome and obviously uh, brilliant pace to you know create that opportunity. He's obviously close enough. What's it like to drive an MX5 round Fruxton? Uh, it's a lot more lively than you think. I mean, uh, um, the fast stuff out the back, you're sort of just chasing the back end the whole time, believe it or not. Um, the uh, the tyres we're on this year, the Massimos, possibly don't offer quite as much stability um, at high speed as a, as, as a racing tyre, um, but they suit the cars perfectly because it, it brings the skill to the driver instead of just uh, spending loads of money on grip. Awesome. Well, congratulations once again. Uh, Tom, we're, we're going to move on to you now. And, uh, yeah, obviously, as, as Ben rightly said, you know, great battle. But tell us a little bit about your incident that, that caused that. Uh, opportunity uh, I just got too eager on the brakes pretty much um, so I, I knew I had the line out of Ben coming through church I was able to get a bit more speed going on to start fin onto that uh, back straight before the last complex uh, got a bit eager thought oh, yes I got this I got this I got this and the second you start thinking that that's when you make a mistake and unfortunately I found out the hard way um, had a bit of a bit of a slip and slide out the la last line and then got me the last 50 meters of the race which is unfortunate but now I know what uh, not to do this next time round and hopefully get stay in front of him this time yeah and obviously a little bit of adjustment to racing mx5s for you coming from british gt tell us a little bit about your your season in british gt and and what car you're piloting there so in british gt i drive the oh. I need to remember the full name of it. The Janetta GT4 G56 Evo. Absolute ridiculous cars. Very different to um, the MX-5s we're in today. Uh, twice, as, uh, tw uh, twice as heavy, but a lot more power, in, like about five times more power, and uh, a lot longer race. Uh, I definitely had to work on the fitness this season, but the season's going well. We've shown good flashes of pace. It's a tough competition with the other cars and teams out on the grid with uh, a lot a larger budget and uh, a lot of larger manufacturers behind them. But we're, we're confident. We feel like we can definitely Definitely challenge for good results up at the front of the both the pro am and the overall and um, overall GT4 class. Sounds great, and thanks for obviously joining us in uh, in Five Club. Some comp competitive racing going on, obviously throughout the field, and that takes us to Ian, who was uh, obviously third there, and um, yeah, shaping up to a bit of a good season for you. Yeah, so far so good. Four rounds and uh, four podiums. So yeah, I'm happy so far. Yeah. Yeah. Have you got any plans for uh, for the next race? Uh, not really, just see what happens. I, I'm not sure where I'll be starting, and, um, but yeah, we'll just see what happens. I got a good start this time and managed to, uh, I think I passed a couple in the first corner, or one at least, so if I can do that again and, uh, I don't know, just look for the gaps or tag on to someone quick, I guess, yeah. And was you able to capitalise on the safety car uh, during the last race? Yeah, I proper mugged him, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I, I, was, I was just there, uh, I left a bit of a gap and then I, I seen him coming towards the line. I just tried to time it right to sort of pass as we uh, as we crossed the line and it, it worked this time, yeah. So, yeah, can't complain with that. That's great and congratulations on your third place and to all of our podium uh, winners here at Fruxton. Gotcha. Cheers, mate.